All right, good morning. <coughs> we are on video and uh, we will start with uh, introductions to database operations with MySQL. Right. Uh, we are commencing today, and uh, we're going to introduce everything today. How uh, this this uh, tutorial, uh, video tutorial, is for beginners in uh, in database database operations using MySQL. We are going to be using uh, a MySQL uh, workbench, which is this. I'm, I'm loading it. I think this uh, assignment was sent to you yesterday through your platform. So you are supposed to answer these questions over there. We'll teach you how to do some of those things here. The question here says write an overview on MySQL database server. Then you should write short short answers like this if you like. Now this is the MySQL workbench, it has opened. Before we dive into the operations, let's look into these questions. We want you to check on the year of invention of MySQL, the lab where it was invented, why it was invented, the version to date, the version of MySQL to date. You know, we have version 3, version 4, version 5, MySQL 5. From MySQL 5, it begins to take steps. Version 5.1, 0.2, 0.3, 0.4, 0.5, 0.7. Then version, then MySQL 8 comes in. We try to check some of the communities for MySQL and the rest. And now I'm going to add something here where it was invented. Programming language is used for the development of MySQL. Programming languages, languages used. for its development. You know, C, C++ were used, right? So you check and, and give us information. How? And then, then please, you go through, the, through the question has been sent to you. Okay, we want you to also check on this connection error, too many connections. When this happens, what does it mean? Before um, I continue with this, let me uh, uh, let's explore the database. We call it MySQL database server, but this is this is a client. This workbench, MySQL workbench, is a client. For you to connect to the server, you needed what? You need a client that enables you to connect. So we have so many clients. The ones available to us here, uh, and number one is this MySQL workbench. It's a client that connects to the server. Then we have another one called um, the MySQL client itself. Okay? Look at it. MySQL client. Now, what is the difference between these two? MySQL workbench is a Jew client. Let me talk about something here. The MySQL client used to establish connection. To the server.
one man is what the first one is what MySQL workbench that is my SQL workbench which is this very one my SQL workbench and then my SQL client what is their difference the difference is that MySQL client is a Jew it's a graphical user interface client all right what do you mean by graphical user interface client it means that uh, it is a client that is developed with it is a, a windows application that enables you to click all right to select it has all the graphical user interface facilities are we there while the mysql uh, MySQL client is a what? Eh? It's a console. It's a console client. What do you mean by console? Look at it here. It is a console, of course, because it has only one single environment with just a causal blinking causal. You don't click on anything, but rather you, you put in commands and then it gives you things. All right? Even for the client, you put in commands. But then here, like I close it, right? I mistakenly closed it. That's not my intention. This is a console. Interactions with this tends to be somehow difficult sometimes. But I urge you to learn the two. You will be using the two. Because in some environment, you never see MySQL client. I mean, yeah, MySQL client, my, my, MySQL workbench. If you are invited to work on a given server for an organization, you must, they must not, most of the servers are, are, are having only database server installed. You understand? And then you will be, sometimes you connect to the server through a, a client system. So you must not necessarily have the privilege of uh, working with uh, the MySQL workbench. I don't know whether we are getting it. So, but then let's leverage, let's use the tool. Because using the tool will give us a, a very much a, a good understanding of how we interact with the system. So uh, let me first of all log on to I mean log on to my system, my server from the, this uh, workbench client. Uh, if you click on, for, I mean before clicking on anything, these are the tabs we have in. We have the first one, which is the database. The second one is the the model, and the third one is the migration. Uh, I don't know whether you see what I'm doing here. This, if you click here, that means you are here already. That's this is where you do database queries and the rest. You connect to the database and query and do all. If you click on this, it takes you to where you create models. We shall come to where, how how we create models, models for the database. Then, then you do what we call forward engineering, backward engineering, and the rest. Because models are not databases. Models are the scheme, the, scheme, the design of the database, the structure of the the design rather, not structure, the design of the database. How you want the database to look like? How you want your tables to look like? Then you use it to create your database. If you don't have scheme, I mean date, I mean uh, model, you can use the database to create the models. That is backward engineering. Okay, then we have forward engineering. We'll discuss that later. Then this is what we call the migration uh, migration tax these are the migration tax list sometimes you work on MySQL you want to push it to Postgres then you can migrate here or you, you you have your database in Postgres you want to push it to MySQL you can migrate or you want you have it in MySQL and you want to push it to MariaDB or to any RDBMS server or whatever we're going to discuss this uh, differently I just introduced you to so please come back to the home, you click on this home icon, and then come to what? Uh, yeah, this uh, database, and then then before you start, you need to establish connections. These are All these are connections are established. So let's um, establish our own connection. You click on this plus sign. After clicking on the plus sign, it gives you connection. Connection, connection name. So let's see a full start.
web dev full stack web dev underscore batch batch what batch b batch b and the year is 20 20 2024 but yeah i think this is our connection right it's okay but before you start do you doing anything you, you check on this host host name host name this is the the default host name which tells you that when you see 127.0.0.1 it means local host don't touch anything there the next is the most Im one another important thing is what port number whenever you connect to the MySQL you need to check on the port number because you can have multiple installations of MySQL you can have it bundle with ZAM, you can have it bundle with WAMP, you can have it as it is now as a server so while you are installing you need to specify the port number the default port number is 3306 you can give it 3307 if you have another installation so because that there is going to be conflict when you have more than, more than one MySQL process or MySQL data, I mean MySQL program running on same port number. There is going to be conflict. When one is running, the other one can't. So if you want to do away with that, you need to. Uh, then the username is root. And then you can store your your password on Vault so it doesn't ask you questions on, on uh, putting in password anytime you want to. Actually, this is what we do. If I'm working on this uh, MySQL uh, workbench, I do put in my password here. So uh, I, uh, whenever I want to log in, it, it doesn't ask me on password. But for the console, you have to repeatedly put in passwords. All right? So next is to do tests. The best is you listen. Listen first, then you come up with your, the video will be available shortly after the, the class. So before you click on OK, you click on this test connection. When you click on it, you see what it's doing. It tells you what. It says successfully made the MySQL connection. If it does not connect, it tells you that uh, it's not. Yes. So then, OK. Then after that, check on the connections, available connections we are having. You see our connection down here. Then you click on it. Then we are into, we are now connected. Are we there? Yes. So, now these are commands you need to put your hands on. The first thing you do is, if, you, if I want to see the entire database is there, I put that this database command that says show databases. Then you, you have two buttons here. The first one, execute all commands. And the second one, execute only commands that has, in, in which the causal is being, any com commands, the line that the causal is being positioned then it's run only that command if you highlight many lines it will run the, all the commands so I used to use this then it tells you these are the databases all right please let me do same with the workbench oh sorry with the client I want to increase the font size so you can see what, what I'm doing clearly yes so I've increased the, point, the font size to this size of uh, Okay, I think I can divide this screen right. Oh, let's just The command. I forgot the command that device screen into two. Okay. Is this I'm doing? So now I put in my command. I mean my 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 password. You see, this is this this gives you some information. 
Welcome to MySQL monitor commands. Commands end with what? Sem mm. Statement terminator or back, backslash what? G. G. The connections is the connection is what? ID. It keeps running the connection. I mean, it keeps counting. Whenever you connect, it counts. Unless if you maybe you shut down the system. And there is a maximum connection limit. Then it tells you the, cop the copyright and the year. Uh, then you know it's it's been. This is end by owned by Oracle, right? Yeah. So I I put in the command here. It says uh, show databases. Can you see? This is it, and it's same with what I have here. These are database, but you see, this is due. I can click and understand, but that one is console. Are we there? Yes. So if I want to make use of, uh, I want to. These are the databases on ground. So we can create ours and make it uh, active. Let's see from the question here. It talks about this baby. The second question here talks about. Uh, Okay, I think we should. Uh, this this should be okay. What is this? This here. Uh, okay. Please let's start with this. Maybe next we talk about the, the other one. This says design a database called uh, title page db and create a table name page. So we want to create a database called PageDB, and then you answer the following questions. So we now see create database. Database name is PageDB. Page I know I have PageDB in my system. Let me see PageDB underscore 2024. I don't know whether this exists or not. Then you do what? You can highlight or just place the console there and then click on look at the, the the console here for this. It tells you what what were affected. That means it has been created. If there is error, you see error here. Then if you if you say show databases, it's going to list out all the databases, among which is it has to list out with this very one that was just created. HDB. Can you see it here? Then, if we want to make a given database server, a given database here, we want to make it active, you can see, use, use what? Use pet, use pet DB. Then you use pet DB here. That means you made it active. Then you can now see, show tables. We don't have any table here. But let's see the commands. You see no list of any table. So go back to where what the question says. And then you are asked to create a table with the name PageDB with this structure. The first thing here is page, page name. Is what? PageDB ID, name, owner, species, sex, and what? Birth. So you can now create table here by saying create. This is the command. There is a there is a giving tutorial, MySQL uh, tutorial sent to your account. I mean, your, your, all these are there. Just browse through it. Create, create table. Table name is what? Pet. Then you open and close, and terminate. Then you state the columns in the table. The first column is pet D, pet what? Pet ID. Pet underscore ID. Pet ID. Then you give it its domain. It, uh, it should be int. Int. I will want it auto increment. Int auto increment. Then it's going to be what? Primary key. 
Are we there? So it will be automatically incrementing whenever you put in you insert tokens. Next is what? Name of the page, owner of the page, so name. Name is Vaka or Vacha if you like. Give it a kind of let's say 64 length of characters. What next? Owner. Owner is going to be Vaka as well. Let's say 64 character name. Next, spaceship. Let me copy this so I'll go fast. Spaceship of the pet. You understand pet? The dogs, the lions, and snakes that are being kept at home, right? Species. Right, this is the domain. You separate it by comma. Next is what? Sex. Let's say gender. I don't want to use that word. Gender. Whether male or female. So this time around is not Vaka. You now say car. That's character. Or car. Car. How many characters? Just one. One character. You need to perfect. Please, in your assignment, assignment of today is to search for and understand at least 20 data types in MySQL, 20 data types. Understand what is int, what is vaga, what is date and time, what is timestamp, what is all this for, for MySQL. Search then birth. I think there is another one down here, there is birth and death. Yes, you see the death, data type here is what? Death, just death. So you can see breath. The data type here is dead. Then death, that is when it, it has died. And the data type here is what? Dead. We have date and we have date and time. Let's go by date. Then when I click to create this, it tells me that zero row affected. Um, Okay, let's see if it has created it. Yes, it has created. Okay. Then, we can now try to see the structure of this table. Checking the structure. You know what I'm trying to do here? Uh, I, was, I was talking, writing things. This is, this is the comment in my second. Bash dash 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 space whatever you write within these two dash dash it will not be executed so here I will write checking the structure for the table that means I, I want to be explaining what I'm doing right yes and then I will save this query for you uh, under essentials please don't forget we're going to save it with, uh, we'll continue using one single file for our queries. So, let's see. I think uh, the connection, what was the connection name? This is the connection name, right? Two stack, okay, let me just write. Two stack, where the Batch B twenty twenty four. But this is query queries. I saved it under essentials. So don't forget this essentials under desktop. That's why I put in all my queries. So I want to check the structure here. You can copy the table name, then come down here and write describe. These two are same, either disk or describe. Disk is the short form, all right? Describe are same. So this, you know, sometimes you, you, you could be fast. So, sorry.
I mean, call this. Uh -huh. Describe. Describe. So you see how it has described for us. So if I want to work on a table that you you are not the one who created, or you forgot about the description, about what you are doing, this is what you do. You check. You see. You understand that this is int and it is auto increment and this are vulgar and and then all. You understand. So the next. I think let's quickly do this. What's up with this? Let's quickly do something here. Instead of me just writing things like that, why not I... Let me write comment to each and every command we have. What is the comment for this show databases? Showing or displaying, right? Don't use the same thing. Displaying the entire DBs. In the server. That is show databases, right? Here we create what? Create the create the what the database or create a database rather the database called called what And here, make make what? Get DB active, right? Making it active. That means the database you making it active, right? And this short table, what does it do? Display all tables created under what? Under the, the choosing choosing DB, right? Creating a table or something. You can. I, I hope you understand what I'm doing. So now this now this checking the structure gives us this. So if I want to check the content of content, you know, I want to check the content of the table called pet. What do I do? Huh? You see the content. I say select. Select asterisk. Asterisk means all, all commons. Pet. And nothing is there. So, the question folder asks us to do what? To insert that we should make at least 20 entries. Uh, and then the rest questions. Maybe you answer these questions later. So, uh, but, but for your own case, you should start answering all these questions before the next class. Let's do the entry now. To enter, to make entry into the table, you will now write insert, insert into, the table name is what? Head. You have two ways of doing it. You can now introduce, let's take the one that is very, very simple. Values, right? What are the values? The first thing here you check on. That's why I left this. This is auto increment, so you don't enter anything for the first for the first item here, you write now because it will be incrementing itself. So you don't you don't know what's the number on ground. Name. Somebody should give us what's your name. Huh? I don't like this. A. A B. That's what I. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, A or no. the first one? Yeah. B B A. Yes. Then you support by cover. The next is what? Sorry. The, you are the owner, right? Mm-hmm. So this should come last. Oh name of the pet. Do you have a pet? No. This should be in cut like this. Let's say you have a dog uh, or you have a cat and you call it Katy, for example. And this is the name. It should be in cut. Oh, now then this species, this species is what? Cat. Gender. Gender, let's see. So that is when you are going to use single cut like this. Because gender is what? Character. Let's see. Male. The death it was. But it was what? The death it was give, giving birth. You put it in court. You can see today's death is uh, is year year dead dead system dead 2024 dash 29. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sorry dead day, day. Sorry year year month month dead day. What is the month? Four eight. Then twenty nine. For M, it it was defined to be character. Yes. And for the for the birth, birth and death. Let's say it was just giving birth now, and it it it, it, it died now. Huh? Kati is not single character. It's a vaca. And the ID. The ID is like seven people. The ID is what? It's not. ID is what? No, why are you? The, the numbering, the numbering is auto. So you just put in none. If it is not auto, you have to supply. Why is it string and and They are same. String is vacuum. Variable character. Combination of let number zero to nine, letters one to nine. Then I will repeat this date here. And then you push it. It tells you what were affected. You can now select to check. Can you see your something? It has entered, right? There isn't any 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 validation here. If you push again, it will give you same same thing. So I think what we should do, I want us to have like five rows. Then let's jet, let's change the let's see 32, 33. 34, 35, for example. And the name, let me see Isa here. Collins. Collins. Let me see Bala. We have Dugu here. Who is the tallest? Then here for the debt, let's um, see. This is what 29, 29, 30. Let me just change this month. Let's see. This is five, this is six, six, this is four. four but that's April, right? This is January, for example. Right. So if you want to, you can now highlight all this and then push them. Yeah, there. Then check from select. Okay. 
now okay it has put on the okay no i made a mistake when you highlight many columns many rows i mean you use this yes otherwise it will pick only the first one okay so this now has entered let me just change something here isa musa you pick you use this command to push if it is many rows you know i said it i just made mistake so you see all other things are all these are there for so, okay don't give me this this kind of data is because i'm just uh, you give us realistic dates dates and names of people names of uh, different species and all this we want a uh, realistic data it's just because i'm so now let's begin to do the queries now the query say please supply different date species you see what the question says then calculate the number of days between the birth the death for each of the pets that means we want you to calculate how many number of dates how many uh, how many number of days has the the pet lived just live for one month for two years for each before we start answering that question i want to count the number of rows we have in there when you use this word when you use this count it will count number of what number of rows you have so and i know i have six that's all let me go down and do and answer this question all right we want to answer question that says calculate number of days so when i say highlight all it gives me all this then aside all this it has given me and i now want to integrate something further i want to get when i say comma that means i want to put in another i want to Query another. I want to make another query, right? I want to pull out something. If you want to check the the, the, the the days between this death and this, which is the longer one, the death, right? It tends to be. It's supposed to be the longer. So then there is um, a grammatical command that says death time. Death difference. Sorry, look at it. Death difference. That's the essence of using. That's why I hardly use this now. This console, like, because this will help you with the faster. It gives you court case, intelligence, and the rest. Then you put the the, the biggest date, then follow the last. Date. It will calculate for you. So the biggest date is what tends to be supposed to be the death, and then the smallest one is this. Yes. Then you run. Can you see? It gives you this doesn't leave any day because it is same date. And this lived 213. This lived mm -hmm. like You understand? But then look at this. Look at this. Then there's something we call alias. Alias. You know what when I say alias, what I mean by alias. Uh, look at I don't like this because this is giving is showcasing the formula I use because here it says death. And the question says number of what? Number of calculate the number of days uh -huh. so we can say days lived right so you can do alias immediately after the query like this you can just see as that means you shouldn't give you you are renaming this thing as what as what you can see let me write it this way so you understand that it's our alias days lived i think our english is correct right Then, can you see? This is alias. It, it, sh it, it should rename. Even if us is not there, it will understand that it is alias. Immediately after the after this query, if you put this to give you alias, understand? No issue. So I will stop here. We have lots to discuss, really.